Yo, it's your boy Pan again. I am here today to talk about some real shit. You know what I'm talking about? Real shit. Nah, but I wanted to make this like a full-fledged video and planned out and everything, but then I realized uh, I don't got time for that shit. I'm flying out in two days to China. I wanted to talk about my graduation, right? Like, I graduated. Like, holy shit, I graduated. I mean, it's not like that surprising, but it feels kind of weird. You know, it's like this whole thing you've been doing, you know, this video game you've been playing and then you finish like a, like a big main quest, right? And then now you're like, damn what's the next level like what's the next level after this like i got everything i wanted so i got a new job which i haven't started yet but it's a good job and i'm chilling on that front then i finished school and i have my youtube and everything so you know sometimes you can set goals right you can set oh this is what i, I want to achieve by this time how many you know money you want to make how many subscribers whatever it is right and it's like i don't really know what the next goal i want so i don't know what to set so i feel like one choice i have is to just keep going with what i'm doing right now or set some kind of goal and then specifically go to that goal but i also don't know what goal to set now i sound really fucking stupid but yeah that, that's kind of just how i'm feeling right now and you know i'm in this like weird period of time where you know you graduate but you haven't started your job yet so you're kind of just like doing nothing i feel like i probably won't feel this way once i start work but right now this is how i'm feeling so i just wanted to like you know be transparent with you guys i don't even know if you guys care about this shit for those who do this is a video for y'all it's raining outside by the way i don't know if you can uh hear the rain i hope hopefully you cannot yeah so basically first thing i said before was you know how it feels to have graduated i feel kind of lost a bit empty a bit confused about what's the next step about what i want you know having achieved certain goals that i previously set and now it's like i don't want to set new goals it feels so like it feels so corny to set goals like as stupid as that sounds it's like <sighs> do i really have to set goals that, like I, I want it to be intrinsic you know what i'm talking about like i feel like it shouldn't be forced like wanting to do youtube for me personally it was never a thing that was forced right it was just i wanted to do youtube when i was born right like when i came out the womb i was like i want to be a youtuber right like i don't know it, it just I, I don't know where it came from and i don't want to know where it came from it just came I came. Hey yo, what the fuck? Wait, what? No. Okay, so I, I know I like sharing. I like sharing stories. I like storytelling. That's probably the crux of it. I don't know when this passion started to develop. Even for like coding and computer science, it was just like I stumbled upon it. I was thinking, yeah, this could maybe allow me to do more YouTube and shit. But also, I kind of just liked coding and stuff, right? I kind of want that instead of having to set a specific goal and thinking, oh, this is what I want to achieve. I want my next thing I want to do to come naturally to me where it's like, Oh, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. And that's it. And I feel like it's like a privilege to have that in the first place. Right? The fact that I wanted to do YouTube and shit is like most people don't have that type of passion for something just out of nowhere. It's something you kind of have to like find and, and develop. So I think I'm at that stage where I have to find and develop my next step. Another thing I want to talk about is, oh shit. I wasn't sure if I want to talk about this, but recently I broke up with a girlfriend. Yes, I had a girlfriend. Stop the cap. <laughs> Yes, I, I'm a programmer who had a girlfriend. You guys can do it too, okay? If I can do it, you guys can do it. But I had a girlfriend for a year and we broke up recently. <laughs> Why am I laughing? I'm trying to hide the pain with my laugh. But you know what I'm trying to say is breakup sucks. Uh, be careful when you go into relationships, man. Because uh, yeah, breakups, uh, I get fuck. It's sh fucking shit sucks. It was, you know, kind of hard um, just mentally. Like I was already burning out, you know, from... So for this whole past year... I've been like grinding really hard. So much shit happened. Like I got like, you know, Facebook the job. You know, I lost my job. I got a new job. I've been doing YouTube. I graduated just now. It, it, it's taken a toll on my mental health and my, well, now I'm a physical health because, you know, I'm a fucking beast. I heard this quote by like the scientist guy, you know, everyone listens to nowadays. Wait, what's his name? A Andrew Huberman, Huberman, the neuroscientist. And he said, a sign of mental health declining or in a bad spot is, wait, what did he say? 
Fuck. It was something like if your focus always is redirected or, you know, something like that. I'll put it on the screen, you know, put it on the screen. It's pretty accurate for me. I felt like it, it was just, it's so hard to focus. So I was already starting to burn out. And then I broke up with my girlfriend. Well, we, we broke up together. It was mutual since I'm going to be moving to the States for my new job. Basically long distance. Uh, and there were some other shit, but, you know, mainly because of long distance. And we just thought it, some income, income, I can't say that word, bro. Incompatibility. Incom inc incompatible. All right. Fuck you. All right. Just speak French. Incompatible is the word I'm looking for. Okay. We were incompatible in some sense. Uh, even though we had a lot of fun, we loved each other, but with the long distance and shit, it, it's just, it wasn't going to work out. We both knew, you know, it was a good breakup. It wasn't a good breakup. No breakups are good. They're always shit. But, uh, you know, we didn't fight or anything. It was just, we were happy. Uh, we were not happy. We were fucking sad. But you guys know what the fuck I'm, ta I'm talking about, all right? I don't have to, like, say this explicitly. Yeah, so, like, burning out and the breakup, it kind of affected me. So, I'm going to travel for the next two weeks. I'm going back to China to, you know, go to the funeral of my grandparents, visit some family, and just travel a bit. You know, just, like, kind of relax before I start my actual work. And, yeah, so that, that's the plan uh, for me. All right, so I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. If you have questions or anything, please leave a comment. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.